Okay, so a third source of market failures, in addition to uh, imperfect, uh, imperfectly competitive uh, market structures, we already talked about that, we already talked about uh, imperfect uh, communication, a third one has to do with what are known as uh, public goods and um, co common resources, okay? And the way I want you to think about it is, uh, think about it this way, think about the term rival and then excludable, right? So I kind of make it this way. Rival doesn't probably mean what you think it does. Rival means your use diminishes my use. So the idea is that there's a fixed amount of something and one party's use of it uh, diminishes uh, uh, the ability of another party to. to. So, um, rival it can either be, you know, yes or no, right? And then excludable is can you be prevented from, uh, from using it or participating? And again, uh, no and yes. All right, so just to give you an example of how this works, something that is rival and excludable is a private good. A private good is, again, I go back to that, that same uh, uh, circular flow model, right? Picture of the U.S. economy, right? So, you know, there are households, right? And households are going to make payments for what? For goods. Those goods are private goods. Anything that is manufactured by a firm, anything that is a retail-level good... Uh, that's sitting on a shelf is both rival because your use or purchase of it diminishes my ability and excludable, right? There's many different ways that you, that you can be excluded from participating in a market, but one of the most common is just price. You know, here's a good example. Um, you know, Ferrari, right? I may want uh, a, a Ferrari, but I, I'm not going to spend hundreds of thousand dollars on a new car. So um, can I be excluded from participation? Yeah, I can because of the price of the good. Uh, rival. Uh, right now it's uh, it's October, so uh, Costco just got their wine advent calendars, and those things will sell out in a day or two. And a good example of yeah, that's rival, right? Because every time you buy one of those uh, you know cases of, of wine, uh, that's a case of wine that uh, you know. I or somebody else can't uh, can't buy. Um, that's not what we're talking about. Okay, so I don't care uh, about you knowing too much about that. And uh, um, or that. Here's what I'm interested in. Right, a good that is non-rival and non-excludable is a public good. Non-rival non-excludable is a public good. And again, public, remember in economics, public largely means uh, government. But, you know, here's a good uh, good example. How about like a free park, right? You know, is your use of the park uh, diminish my use of the park? Well, Satyrus Paribus, you know, uh, it's not crowded. No, no, not at all. Uh, if it's free, can I be excluded? No, you can't be excluded. So, uh, you know, a public park, uh, a highway, you know, I-35 is right down the road, right? Can I be excluded from uh, driving an I-35? No. Uh, does my use diminish your use? Well, assuming there's no traffic, no. So uh, that's a public good. Public goods are oftentimes goods that the market won't provide. Like, as if you think about it, how great a business case would it be to go buy some land, start a company, buy some land, develop the land, and then just use it as a free park and let people just come and go as they pleased. And, you know, it doesn't make any sense, right? And then items or goods that are rival but non-excludable are called common resources. And common resources, you know, uh, a couple of examples of a common resource. Like in Texas, right, we only have one natural lake, Cattle Lake uh, in East Texas. Uh, all the rest of the lakes in Texas are, are were made by uh, largely the Army Corps of Engineering, but you know were human made, right? Um, and if you think about all those fish in all those lakes, right? Is that 
excludable? Well, yeah, every fish you catch is a fish I can't catch. Or so I mean, sir, not excludable. Rival is that rival? Yeah, it is because every fish you catch is a fish I can't catch. Uh, but is it excludable? Well, n no, right? You you can't be, or you know, originally you you couldn't be uh, 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 prevented from showing up in fishing, um, and that leads to a problem. So when it comes to common resources, tragedy. The tragedy of the commons is the idea that left unchecked, common resources will be depleted. And uh, that's in part why we have things like fishing licenses and, and hunting licenses and hunting seasons, right? Uh, because again, left unchecked, um, that's what you find is that common resources are, are depleted. And so, uh, you know, a fishing license is a way to stem or slow or prevent the uh, depletion of, of that common resource, okay? Uh, let's go back to public goods. Public goods have a problem called free rider. A free rider is somebody that benefits from the public good but doesn't pay for it. And, uh, you know, one of the... Historically, one of the better examples is, you know, we all kind of grew up watching uh, Sesame Street on PBS, public broadcast station, right? Um, well, that's that's a public good, right? And how many of us paid for it? Yeah, I didn't. I grew up watching Sesame Street, never paid for it. Uh, so, you know, in that case, I was a free rider in that I uh, enjoyed the benefits of a public resource without uh, actually paying for it. Um, so, um, yeah. Mm, yeah, let's leave it at that, and uh, I'll do one more video on the fourth and final uh, pub, or, uh, market failure.